All right, welcome back to Neo. Um, not sure how long this session will be. Of course, I'm here with Doc. Uh, how you doing? Let's go back to normal difficulty. So listen, we can go to the new Tohoku region if you like. Check out the DLC. Oh, that's that's the DLC zone. I have not seen anything of the Tohoku region at all. Let's well, let's do it. I say. Uh, Date Matsume, the one-eyed dragon himself, holds Aoba Castle, named for his location on Mount Aoba. Date Masamune. Huh, all right. I'm willing to bet he has one eye and a gigantic crescent moon on his helmet. Given that they said he has one eye, he definitely has only one eye. Hmm. Date Masamune is, a, is also a real-life historical character uh, who has almost exclusively had his entire, like, everything redone by his almost protagonist status in the Samurai Warriors games. Hmm. I see. So is he a possible contender to the, to like, or maybe in this he is like, uh, to, oh, there he is, I guess. To, um, I, Tokugawa. Yeah. I believe he's taking part in a rebellion of sorts. Is that a blood woman? Or a blonde. Who the? I believe that is a blonde woman. Yes. Tokyo,異国との付き合いもあるゆえ。いえ、失礼いたしたわ。半蔵殿、小旅はどのような要件か。弱い家康様のお力で天下太平。よもや今更、省略に見えたわけでもあるまい。誠に今は太平の世でござ
Well, Hanzo's in trouble, apparently. That's, uh... That's a very straightforward, like, oh, that that makes sense kind of thing to get out of it. <laughs> of course. Cat friend. He is a pal. Therefore. Yeah. He's probably like, I should have done this a lot earlier, truthfully. Yeah, I bet the director's like, wait, fuck, we killed off <laughs> Nakamata. Damn it. <laughs> he was fun. Therefore. Put him in the DLC. I don't care. Explain why he's alive. So it seems like Mazumune, or... I don't know. I, I always mix up first name last in like translations, you know. Um, Date, I guess. Uh, it sounds like he's also hoarding Amrita for yokai sake. So, John D. Uh, John D. Isn't the only asshole in the world. I think Masamune, I believe, is the clan. I think Date is his first name. Maybe I actually Seems don't know. Right, but... Ah, main mission: Yokai Country. Uh, and I already did that Twilight Mission. So... Ah, no, no, no. Date is actually the clan. Masamune is his first name. Ah, my bad then. Dante. Yeah. Since he departed for Tono and Date territory, all traces of Hanzo. Uh-oh. Hanzo's disappearing. Tend Kodama to rescue. For what it's worth, this is a different Masamune from the Legendary Swordmaker. I know that, at least. Yeah. So I'm... I, you might have missed a couple of, like, grinding for Kodama sessions. I actually went hunting for Kodama on New Game Plus, which is very annoying but also at least like gets you a lot of levels so i've I, been very busy for the past couple of days so i've almost certainly missed them that's fine you, you didn't miss anything story or whatever related outside of the final mission but um right I'm Which I've already seen, so don't worry about it i'm at level 122 and i've done very i've done a very stupid thing with my last few levels um mm -hmm. i put a lot in dexterity so i could get the ninja trophy even though i could have just used the book of reincarnation and likewise, I put some levels in magic to grind toward that one, even though, again, I could have just used the book. Especially since they gave you one for free. Exactly. I have three in my inventory. There is no reason at all I should be doing that. None. Well, the good news is you can do this, and then you can use one of your three books of reincarnation to just completely lean in entirely on whatever weapons you plan on using. It's probably going to be the Odachi. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. Oh, this, right. is not, this one's pretty neat already. Yeah, these guys... Oh, they look a little different. Um, <laughs> But uh, what was I going to say? So, uh... Oh, that's interesting. He had one of my moves. He had my little double move. Um, One thing I learned, too. Kusarigama, I actually like a lot, a lot for uh, human enemies. Yoko, oh, yeah? not so much. Basically, the Kusarigama, like, because it has those, like, rapid moves, will, like, just chew through key, like, enemy key, if they're blocking, or just... And hit. also, Kusarigama's got, like, excellent grapple moves on top of that, right? So... Yeah, yeah it's really great for humans. There's a yokai with the super armor. Once you're committed, you're kind of screwed. So, Adachi, I like better for... Oh, whoa, what the... Adachi and Kusarigama is kind of an interesting uh, weapon setup. I like it. Speaking of interesting, here's a totally new enemy. Oh, neat! It's a fucking... Oh, shit. I know what this yokai is called. Um, Plus Plagas? No, this is a... Uh, Rokurakubi. This is a Rokurakubi, uh, which are long necks. Uh, they can, they basically just have necks that can extend as long as they want, kind of thing. It's one of the many... Uh, this is just a person who ends up being very scary at the end for whatever dumb reason kind of speak, uh, yokai. But yeah, that's what one of these is. This is a rock could be. Oh no! Ooh, wow. That was a shame I almost killed him, but at least it was a very cool move that killed me. <laughs> mm. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. It's also, I, I have 52 elixirs in stock. Oh, uh, dope. Nice. Yeah, it used to be 64. It went down to zero. It went back up to 60 because when you are over leveled like I am, you just get a f load of elixirs from from Oni. Ooh, whoops. Okay, this is a little harder than I thought it would be. Huh. What level did I say this was? 150. I should be. I don't know. I think it's 150. I wasn't. That's fine. Look, we're in yokai country. The funny thing is, mm -hmm. even though you said you're at like one level 122 now or something like that, right? Yeah. Uh, you're still underleveled for the final missions of the game, according to the game. Oh, I'm not surprised. The Twilight missions on New Game Plus are, like, level 300. Not surprising. Yeah. 
and there's like i think there's like four levels of new game like it, it's like oh uh, it has a final level of it basically and it won't get any harder after that point yeah it's like because they're all titled it's like the first one's way of the samurai then way of the strong then there's way of the oh. demon sorry go ahead and i'm going to assume the final one's way of the neo or something y like yep, that yep, yep. you got it mm -hmm. I also got spoiled on some of the optional double boss fight missions. And you probably heard of the, the, the most famous one then, right? Uh, is it Yukiona and Nobunaga? Yes, the, uh, you know, the married couple boss fight, which is famously, I think, the hardest mission in the game. Yeah, I'm, like, even just hearing about it, I'm kind of like, I don't even know how to, like, approach that outside of... Uh, bringing a lot of soul stones with me and hiding until I can activate living weapon until Yukiona's dead. Um, I don't know, honestly. I've actually seen someone do it and it took a very long time and they were very careful to make sure that one of them was not able to hit them at any point, which is hard to do given that, you know, Nobunaga has all of his, uh, like, hit the entire arena moves mm -hmm. and uh, Yukiona will do a dash for half your life and you're too far away. You know what's very interesting, by the way, about this enemy is the grab comes from the head, so you have to, like, watch the head, you know? Yeah. Which, ooh, yikes. Which is such a... That. And then also... There we go. Yeah, it, do it does count. You have to shoot the head to... There. There we go. <sighs> Man, all right. Can we open this door? I bet we can't. Oh, we can. Okay. I noticed too that you're actually wearing uh, Nobunaga's like waist piece. <laughs> nice. Where'd you get that? I'm not sure. I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. There we go. Here's shrine number two. And just from the shrine, we get about ninety-six thousand Dalmarita. Mm-hmm. I will throw this out here, though, uh, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm on it now. I am kind of critical of your fashion choices right now. Sorry. It's, uh, well, you clash pretty hard with your... It's like a an off-gold, bra brassish, copperish kind of patina on that helmet with your bright silver tassets. Let's start here. Piece. This helmet is black armor. far and away the best thing I have. So is this armor. All right. Uh, that, if that's your best helmet, like piece of armor, period, out of all of your equipment, and that's your best armor, then you're gonna have to accessorize well with your gauntlets and like legging parts, I think. All right. Well, here's new gauntlets, and leg guards are my best. Foot guards are my best too. Now, I also the one thing I didn't understand is there's apparently uh, a blacksmith familiarity stat yes which goes up as you buy things from the blacksmith yeah. basically and talk to her i still Excited. don't know yeah, go ahead. I still also your dialogue so yeah i still don't really know what to buy from her though truthfully and i should really start doing that i think because i have three yeah. million sen yeah i think at this point actually d starting to make stuff is actually a good idea right like if you want to make a really really good adachi now Whoa. is a pretty good way to do it kind of thing Got overcast suddenly. Oh wow, there's a lot of kappa here. That is weird. Nice. Kappa central, yeah. Mm -hmm. Grand kappa central. Maybe there'll be a kappa that actually will attack you for real. Oh look, there's mini kappa and big ones too. Oh, and one of, and they're throwing things at me. That's kind of new. Should I try bowing? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, alright. There is a Kodama around here, too, so... You know what? Oh my gosh! I couldn't get anything off of my living weapon. Holy Christmas. Uh, okay. Kappa are kind of a threat now. These Ooh. Kappa are pretty real, yeah. Wild. I shot one in the head and it only went to like half damage too. Oh fuck. They have some kind of effect too. I can't quite tell what it is, but Alright. Yeah, actually, well, you go ah, damn it. I'm trying to save a Kadama here, Kappa. I think that's per uh, paralysis. 
Oh, you're, I think you're right, actually. Yep, it is. Yep, yep, you're exactly right. And I haven't seen paralysis in so long. I don't have the needles active. So yeah, the, I'm the only real concern for paralysis is, uh, is Hinoenma, aside from this. So interestingly, I feel like Kappa are best fought with projectiles? Projectiles, really? Oh. Except when they have their back, their shells turned toward you. First things first. You get back to the shrine, okay? That's number one. Kappa Something. are not always depicted with turtle shells, but usually they are. Eat that elixir. I don't. Really... Oh, these are red kappa. Oh, these are probably Yamawara then. Oh, right. What? Because uh, you're up on a mountain, I'm pretty sure, which would make them like very much Yamawara. Uh, there was a Katakasa Obake behind you as well. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> they they look like they're like red on their uh, stomachs, kind of like from the very. I can't really see them super. Yeah, they have red stomachs for sure. You know. There's a Kadama up there, but I don't think I can get him yet. Yeah, and I see the I see the Kurakasa. I had a by the way, I had a fun submission uh, that came with the DLC, basically, like because apparently they add submissions to like the base game now, you know. Um, two oh, they... Yeah, it's like two rounds of enemies and then two Raven Tengus at once. That was fun. Oh, sounds fun. Yeah. Couldn't do that. Um. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm getting used to Raven Tengu. Uh, they do, like, you can break them once they, um, uh, break their guard once they're out of key, you know? They're yeah. But they're still just dangerous F because all their moves are really fast, you know? But really fast and really strong, and they, they've they got a nasty stats back and other stuff. Yeah, there, there's just a lot of stuff about them, you know? Mm. Not And you can't really block Raven Tengu, because I remember when I was doing, like, fighting them they just do so much stamina key damage yeah that you really just have to dodge them perfectly i'm just gonna pray at the shrine i'm not even gonna bother fighting two kappa and uh on yudo mm. yamalato are kappa who are oh. you end up deciding decide to live on mountains instead of in rivers and stuff it uh, is not extremely there's not that many uh stuff about them i think but they tend to be a little bit more nasty than Kappa are. Kappa try to drown you, right? <laughs> so, yes. Uh, it's Yama Yama Yero? Wait, Yama what? Yama Wado. Yama, Yama Wado. Wado. Yeah. There we go. Holy axe. <laughs> Holy axe. All right. Uh, looks like there's a uh, Kadama right around here. Well, they tend to be more pugnacious. Oh. I guess they don't necessarily tend to murder folks as much. Hmm. By the way, one thing. So, in order to get the uh, master of the master of a weapon kind of trophy, I need more samurai skill points, but. I haven't been getting them, so I'm not really sure what to do about that. Maybe when you did New Game Plus, did like rewards of samurai hair get refreshed? I hope so. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I gotta do just do it reward stuff. I'm gonna need like 40 something really for all of them. Just, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh dear. Speaking of a lot, so what are your are strong. Hmm? what are your guardian spirits right now? Uh. Blanking on his name, the deer one that'll let me like find Kadama and paired right Okay. Him. Okay. Hey, uh, the deer one is also an earth uh, guard, an earth type, I think, the purple. Right. You know, I gotta say one thing I like a lot about Neo is it it when you, once you figure out the graph te the grab telegraph, it's really good. Like, like the it, telegraph is actually pretty. Uh... Is it when they start to like sparkle their head with like white and black? Yeah, exactly. They have like those weird cloudy kind of things around their hands, especially, you know? Mm -hmm. 
and it's like very clear like you're about to be grabbed you better get the f out of here and the game's so fast-paced like you, you know you still have to actually do it right but i really enjoy that because that's like you know yeah that's uh because sekiro you got that like that you, it's very nicely telegraphed, but it's also like, are they going to grab it? They, they only telegraph it with one thing when there's three different things that could be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, at least and you just kind of have to remember what enemies use what. Like, yeah. The uh, spear guys will do only. Well, actually, technically speaking, I think the basic spear dudes have all three. It's kind of wild. Hmm. Not the basic spear dudes. Not the Ashigaru spear dudes. The, uh, the Buddhist monk spear dudes. Slender bird of breath. Nice. I'm sure I could make a nice weapon out of that. So yeah, it looks like some. It looks like the uh, some enemies have a chance to like pop into you know. I mean, I Grab materials. Yeah. yeah. I got one. I'm very lucky sometimes. The enemies they don't. They, so you should have taken advantage when I ran out of stamina, like I just did to you, pal. Something. Oh, there's another one of these guys. Again. I feel like these would be something like, like a good, not good necessarily, but like, I'm surprised these aren't like a, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. J-horror subject of some kind, you know? I feel like I could what, see Rock that. Kobe? Yeah. Absolutely they are. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, these are uh, occasionally used in horror. I could definitely see Except, that. Which stems from the fact that they were originally designed as, like, well, not designed, but told as scary stories. Hmm. What's the moral with them? Or is it just, they're just monsters, kind of? Yeah, usually scary stories have, like, a moral or something. They're kind of like, hey, don't do this, or that thing with the giant head will get you. On Yamawato. I don't need to vote here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, shit. I didn't kick down the. Huh. While okay. uh, the majority of yokai are just boogeymen yeah. of some form to you know to get people to not do the things that they say to do. Right. Uh, Rokurakubi are one of the subset of yokai that aren't boogeymen of any form. They're pretty ladies that do something weird. <laughs> which is like Futak uh, Futakachiona as well, which is the one that has like a, a mouth in their hair. Oh yeah, I think um, I've heard about that. Yukiona, which is I guess it, sort of a it's just a the spooky lady out in the snow kind of thing. You know, Enbo, which is a you know, <laughs> listen. A lot of them are also just that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's just a story about a, a scary thing we thought of, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, we I opened this, like, shortcut, even though it doesn't seem like it really does a whole lot. But, you know. Oh, dear. Hey, now. You piece of trash. These guys, I still don't have a like, completely wonderful strategy for, you know? But... Yeah. yeah, these guys in Raven Tengu are still my big, like, problem enemies, you know? And I don't think that's gonna change, basically, at all. Well, that happens with my... Fuck it, let's pop it. You're almost dead, we'll just go right through you. Don't even bother. We got next. Ooh, that's a that's an interesting and scary red gate. And ah, oh, here's the shrine from before. Nice. And I better rest there, so I respawn right by here, and then we can go into a nice red gate. This this area in particular is extremely generous with checkpoints and shortcuts. I've already found like three or four. Where are you? <laughs>
Oh dear. And nope. Okay, one more then. Fine. Ah, oh, what a jerk. Alright. I ate three well, three goddamn elixirs, but I got one back, fortunately. Uh I don't see any Kodama. Do I wanna Ooh. Interesting. I don't think he has. I don't think they have like falling animations or something. I feel like I, can't, I just can't knock this guy off. You know what? Hey, that's fine. Um. Oh, Matt, was that the? I see a pool of some kind here. I think I see Kadama. Oh, there's a whole village here. What do you? Whoa! New enemy. Wow, okay, this is a totally new enemy. I don't know if Doc's the ma red mountain oni, huh? According to Green Engine. He's interesting because he. There we go. Wow. He has like moves very similar to the the Yoki, but that's where it throws you a little bit. Harvester. Yeah. See, look. Look at this. Another shrine. There's a Kadama right behind this gate, too. Hmm. Uh, look at that, 910,000. It's a good number. Did you see that? Were you around to see that new enemy? No, I guess I wasn't. I just had to go do something really quick. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, but uh, yeah, new enemy. There's like a big. Like long hair mountain oni kind of. Nice. He, he looks kind of like a tall version. Like he's like kind of taller and thinner, I guess, sort of version of um, like a Yoki. And gotcha. he, has, he has a very similar move set, which like kind of throws you because he goes like that swipe, swipe, but then a spin instead of the overhead, you know? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's creepy how he came around the corner like that. All right, so let's see here. There we are. What's next? All right, you. Want to fish. You want to fucking pop the pop the weapon? Give me my give me a living weapon back, please, so I can kill you. Or you kill your friends. Too. Shit. All right. Well. Is there anything I can fight before my living weapon runs out? Nah. All right. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I, act I think that's a new. I think that's that new enemy. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, let's take a peek. I'll try to get him into a place where you can see him a little better outside. There we go. So he's by the well right now when you get here. But, yeah. Huh. Neat. It's pretty yeah. big. You seem to have breathed out the demon pool, too, or whatever you call it, you know? Oh, dear. Yikes. That's quite I'm looking at him, and I don't, like, off the top of my head, I can't recognize what he's supposed to be. He might just be, like, maybe, like, an Oni-Oni. You know what I mean? Like, hey, here's an another interpretation of, of the classic Oni you know and love. There we are. Yeah, could be, totally. Could just be all the only up until this point in the game have been like the red varieties, big, stocky, and all that. Mm -hmm. They haven't done the tall, thin ones that are blue, usually depicted as blue yet. Do you much mean, at all? You mean like Aoni? I do sort of mean like Aoni. Yes, that's where the name Aoni comes from. Mm -hmm. 
fucking out on me. I never played that. Well, no, that's not true. I played like a little of it, but not during it. It never, it never seemed to appeal to me, you know? Like I can kind of understand people. It's very silly, all things considered. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I think it is one of those things you have to be in like a certain mindset or maybe even age group to kind of like get into. I think know? so. I think it's very much an age, age group thing. That's something like, that's like a 16 year old first, uh, moderately scare jump scare centric game kind yeah. of thing you know yeah i mean they made a movie out of it apparently so did they damn yes, they did there is a live action alloni movie okay i don't huh the last i'd heard of it it was coming out but that was a few years back i'm sure it's like out by now or maybe got scrapped i don't know but yeah why wouldn't you make why wouldn't you make uh uh, oh, uh, what do you call it? Why wouldn't you make a, an Aoni movie? What the heck? There's, um, Why not? Green Intern saying the wiki the wiki for this calls those Namahage, by the way. Namahage is actually not a name I recognize, so I don't know anything about these guys. Yeah. I don't, I don't recognize that name either. Ooh, okay, yeah, they have another move now, which is... So they can do the double swipe followed by a spin, or the double swipe followed by, uh... A big ass, um, uh, jeez. This like, one's actually slightly different from the other one you just fought, too. Oh, is it? Different horns and a uh, different weapon. Oh, you know what, though? I, I did cut off his horns, you know. Because I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think they all have Different that. weapon, though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're right, different weapon, yeah. Because the other one had two, uh, two small cleavers. Oh, I wonder if they have, like, uh, <laughs> you know, like, weapon classes kind of like I do in a way. You know, because the, the, the Yoki do, you know. They've got Katana, Axe, Kasarigama. Yeah. The only yeah. one that they don't really use is Spear at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm wondering if these, that's, like, this is that dual Katana version of one of them, you know. Oh, you. Well, this would be more like Odachi version, I guess, because it's a very large one. Cleaver and the other one would be dual swords, yeah. You always pick clap. Uh, Mujina. Thank you. I knew it was him something. All right, Mujina. Why do I lose? Cool. There's a living weapon. Uh, there's the Kodama up on that ledge. Now, how do we get to him? I'm guessing uh, we climb up there and jump down, probably. Let's open up this area to the shrine. I can level up. I don't know if I want to uh, spawn it, respawn everything. Just keep this guy's kill it, pissing me off too. Um, I don't know if I want to respawn any everything just yet. You know. <laughs> I'm glad the enemy AI doesn't always know to like take advantage of me when I'm uh, when I'm winded. Yeah, if it always did it perfectly every time, it would be kind of miserable. Yeah, honest. Yeah. <laughs> Namhage apparently in real life, people who dress up like demons and go around door to doors ask if people are being lazy and scaring children. So it's a Krampus-like situation. All right. Interesting. Neat. Huh. Then so. Let's do this. Let's, well, first things first. Let's let's kick down this ladder. I'm not sure why, they, but you know, whatever. Then we the can go rescue. Or do we have hands coming out of their face? What has hands coming out of their face? The Rokurokubi, the long neck dudes. Oh. Gee. Did you see that like on these sprites, or do you mean generally in like? No, I mean uh, on the the models here. The models, yeah, yeah, the, the models have them. Oof, there's three of those guys. Hmm. I am kind of impressed and glad that this oh. first zone. Make that four. All right. Hmm. Jeez. This seems like it's a bit of a mistake. You know what? Maybe, but... Kadama up there. And I ain't let's see here. 
Did they forget about me? I might have. Right, I'll take I it. Seemed to be relatively forgetful, honestly, because those other dudes like <laughs> left. The two that were just kind of sitting there just decided to go back to where they were. When you went down those stairs, even not even far away. I wonder if that's kind of their deal. You know, like maybe they lose their aggro or something. Because four of them is pretty unreasonable. I mean, mm -hmm. I, unless like you're like so over level that like one is just not a problem. But it's not even true. Of, like Oni. Oh, well. I'll yeah, four it. Yoki at the same time would be serious still. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they can, and they can kind of do that in the mines, but that said, they're still like kind of nice about it, you know, where it's like, that's your own fault for, you know, uh, like aggroing so many at once. Yeah, yeah right. So we got that, we got that. I'm still... So it looks like the next thing I got to do is cross over to the other side of that to kick down that ladder. Um, seems like I'm going to go. I'm going. Oh, I see. This is, that's actually easy to get to. And then we can get Padama number five. I'll tell you, one of the more annoying things, unfortunately, is when you've rescued a bunch of Kadama, you know, like it's like then you can't really even use any sort of guide because you don't know which one you've rescued or not. Or I should say, even though the game very helpfully gives them uh the game very helpfully gives them different hats a lot of the guides i've looked at don't seem to list that mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna try to get my uh grave back now get there. oh dear go 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 get up william please yikes okay I mean, I'm yelling at William. It's really my fault, but still. Right. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just run. We'll just run for that ladder. I have one point two million. So. Ha! There. So then we just kill it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and there is. I heard a Kadama. Find this chest, or is he out? He's probably outside. That sucks. Uh, we got a divine Kusaragama, though. That's nice. Shh. You get back to the shrine. Uh, Alright. I hope you'll forgive me for being a cop that time, but I do have to. I did have to avoid. Um, Kind I can never forgive you for being a cop, that's but you fair. know what? What? That's fine. You don't need my forgiveness. That's fair. Do all this stuff and... Ugh. How are we going to get to you, pal? Um, all right, if I'm getting to that, if I'm getting to that, uh, Kodama, I'm going through this house. Or maybe I'm not. William, just slide the fucking shogi. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Great power I have. Right, Does that mean boss arena or what? That probably means boss arena. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks for the warning. Um. This probably means boss arena. This thing up on the stairs, if I had to guess. This yeah. probably. Fuck off, Kurakasa. Oh man, you're annoying me, Kurakasa. I mean, I probably shouldn't have just ignored him, but still. You know, it's funny, I talked about how much I like Kusaragama for fighting people, but you know what, honestly, Odachi is still fucking great. 
still does the job just fine. Exactly. There's a lot of these guys. Like, I, I thought these guys would be used as, like, occasional difficult enemies, but they seem to be all over the place. Yeah, no, this place is just absolutely just chock full of them. How many? Oh, what? Where's... Where's this Kodama? Oh, it's going to be... Oh, there you are. Gotta love that. High quality wood. Mm-hmm. I think there were ten of them around, too, which is quite a lot. Quite a lot. You know, it's funny, yeah, because I feel like, um... Oh, there's that move you like. I feel like, uh, if, um... What the fuck am I trying to say here? Uh, something, something difficulty... Uh, I forgot. Oh, I feel like if the downside to the Odachi is that it switches stances on you. It's like, that's not really a downside. That's not a downside. No. I thought that was an upside myself. Honestly, I really enjoyed yeah. doing it. Yeah. What the hell? I get a little defense out of this. This is just completely stupid of me. But I, don't, I just don't feel like there is a downside at all to the Adachi. It's kind of a good all-rounder weapon. It really is, yeah. Is it okay is the question. Probably not. Nah, it's still a hard fucking game. And who cares if it's OP in the context of a fucking, uh, you know, single player game? Before I go into that boss arena, I just want to run over here briefly. Because I feel like there must be some more. Oh dear. Was I in here already? I think I might have I just want to see if there's a Kadama or two around on my radar. Nope, I've already been here. Forget it. I probably should have even looked at uh, how many were left according to the um, the, the Godama Blessing Shrine, part of the shrine. Whatever. Yeah, I've been completely through here. This is ridiculous. Let's go back up this way then and let's see what this is in fact the boss arena like we think. Yep, page black. Big, big guy. What have we got here? Date Shigazane. Shigazane Date. Mightiest warrior in the land. He's a bit messed up. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that's... Uh... Ooh, he's full of centipedes! Nice! Hey, remember when I told you how, like, Great Centipede didn't really bother me at all? Uh, uh is this bothering you yeah, a bit? Yeah, that does! That's, uh... That's really awful. Man, that guy, this guy rules. Ugh, crap. What was that thing about centipedes in Japan? Oh, I don't know, they're horrible? Um. Okay, there's multiple different sides to them, is the part of the thing. Uh, centipedes in Japan. They uh, are nasty and gross, and the omakade is a gigantic, terrifying centipede that's very, very powerful. Uh, but they are also associated with samurai and victory in general because their, like, bodies look a lot like what samurai armor is made out of. Ah. Yeah. Oh, he had a grab, too. He has centipede arms, really. That's yeah. where once, I don't know, he has a centipede arm, and he throws spears. Hey, I hate this so much, Doc. I gotta tell you, this is not my jam. I really enjoy centipedes. Well. Wow! These are... These, he has a neat move set, though. I gotta give him that. This is... Centipedes are a very common video game thing, and this is a very, like, neat... You, you know what I mean? Like, use of them or whatever. Mm-hmm. Centipede arm and a centipede butt. He, has a, he, he is the human centipede, you could say. Oh man, I really like how he just kind of gets down on the centipede legs and arm and like just lets that propel him forward. Mm -hmm. It's rad. Yeah, this is a neat boss. This is a lot better than giant centipede, honestly. Oh yeah, it seems like an actually actually real boss fight, basically. Yeah. I 
So he has an interesting double, like, blade throw kind of move. Or not, or single. And that grab is scary, and I don't want to know what it does, even though I think it is. Oh my god! Damn! You see, it's pretty overwhelming. Like, it doesn't give you that many times to rest at all. No. I'm wondering... <laughs> this boss really sold the DLC for me. Okay. Um, hmm. He is pulling those swords out of his own back. He's throwing them at you. Yeah. Those are the things that he throws at you sometimes. Uh, he also uses his gigantic centipede arm to grab his sword and swings it around at times and then puts it back in his left hand. He's so fast! Like, you really can't get, like, a moment on him. Yeah, he's... Like, he's big, too. Like, he's way... He's big, fast, and his, like, reach is enormous. And he hits, like, the truck that falls from Carnage. I can't even really... I'm trying to think of what my, like, my strategy here should be. Like, I guess I just... I guess this feels like... Yeah, you're just gonna have to learn these moves and combos. Did you just say hits like the truck that causes reincarnations? That's what BB728 in chat said. Oh, okay. He hits like the truck that haunt, hunts reincarnations. Hunts. Weird. All right. I don't get that. Didn't that didn't help clarify things more than. Oh, wait, here's that throw. I'm pretty sure I know what that. But okay, so that throws a one-hit kill for me. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed. <sighs> yeah. Now, Japanese centipedes, though, aren't poisonous. Oh, no, they are. They're venomous. Oh. Yeah. Venomous, though. All centipedes are venomous, I'm pretty sure. So it's poison. Poisonous is the one you can't eat it, and uh, if you bite it, you get poisoned, and venomous is the one where if it bites you, you get poisoned. Exactly. Yes. Or not, uh, whatever. It is... If you bite something poisonous, if, if you try to eat something poisonous, you'll regret it. If something venomous tries to eat you, you'll regret it. That's the idea. Both of these are toxins. Or so, types of delivery of toxins. God, you can't... I can't do anything on it. I mean, alright, that's not true. I can't it, but... His window seems super brief, though, and you have to, like, learn what those are. Yeah. All right, so when when you're far away, he'll do the crawl towards you, and he will swing at you the moment he gets, like, gets to you. All right. So maybe being far away is not the correct way to do it. No. But at the same time, he also swipes a lot when you're close up, so... Mm -hmm. Actually, I, that that's the easiest thing to punish far and away is that that like kind of summer. Ooh, wow, that's a new one. Uh, he like props himself up with his back half and then just slides. He has cool like moves, you know. Oh yeah, all right. I think I kind of get him now in a way. You're not done, right? Man, some of those swords in his back are huge. So a couple of those might be Nagamaki, honestly, not just swords. The grab, you can, but they do let you punish. Yeah. That's a cool one. Yep. Sometimes it just does that swipe. Yep, okay. Yeah, this is one of those, uh... Learning when it's safe to get in is being the most important thing kind of boss fights. Yeah. And then executing that perfectly. Yep. Ah! And perfect, unfortunately, is the name of the game because he like yeah. hits hard. I think this is basically where the numbers that they they want you to have are going to come in is on these boss fights. Yeah. <sighs> Wonder if I'm gonna have to start. This is where we have to start grinding. I'm looking this up, and this uh, this boss fight right here is apparently known to be extremely difficult and uh, is a big stopping block. A lot of people even starting the DLC. 
Yeah, it's, I'm not shocked. I'm very glad at least they gave you a pretty close checkpoint, Boone. But like... Mm. That spin attack has gotten me three times. They're just so little warning for it. They're just a little warning for it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Which Maybe this one? is like a. Uh... <laughs> Good point. Maybe this is a. Uh... Maybe this is like a giant toad boss fight where you should basically have the block button held down at almost all times. You know what? You've got a good point. Fuck! Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Doc explained Namahage and Rakurokubi when they were- I didn't explain Namahage, I did explain Rakurokubi. I, Namahage I've actually never heard of. This Thank one, you, uh, that's completely new to me. Thank you for typing out Rakurokubi, by the way. Rakurokubi, yeah. Rakurokubi. My, my Rokurokubi is one of my favorite yokai to just say. It's a really, really good mouthfeel. It's a good word. Jesus! You're right about the block button. Yeah, this is, we're gonna, let's try this giant toad style. Cause, on, all right, so the one thing about the grab is, yeah, it kills you, but once you know it's coming, if you can dodge out of it, that's a, that's an instant punish. Right, that is a guaranteed punish that he will not like be able to follow up on you. Mm -hmm. We got seven. Uh, we got seven things. Um, not a like there's like soul stones. But I can't think of the name. Soul stones you can get living weapon. Yeah. Living weapon batteries, we'll call it. Sure. Namahage or Straw Cape don't either part of ritual festivals of the new year in Honshu, which is, I believe, the island that we're on right now. So the problem with blocking, though, is if you survive the combo, it's like your question is, do you, do you want your stamina back? Do you survive the next one? Or are you going to try for a hit? I guess you really have to have it held down when you're in, I guess, when I, honestly, if I just get back to like, oh yeah, hold down the block button whenever you're in danger of getting hit. Wow, nice, nice advice, asshole. Or they're gonna tell him, dodge his attacks next. It's not terrible right. advice though, because like some bosses, like Yukiona, I feel like it's much better really to uh, like dodge at, just dodge the F out of her way, you know? Yeah. Uh, also, point from Wave Girl, you're blocking in high stance, which is worse at blocking than like mid. Yeah, that's true. Let's try something here. We're also the nursery bogey, and one of the children are told that if they're laser misbehaving, the Amahaki will get to them. Get them. Right, okay. That actually goes with what uh, Grin mentioned earlier. Oh, stupid of me, I should have known. That was stupid altogether. I kind of like, how do I explain this? I kind of feel like I'm like starting to get it though because he does a lot of like, like uh, there's like a specific like timing to it where it's like, I'm gonna punish you now. Kind of, it's hard. I wish I could kind of like describe what I'm thinking. It's uh, all right. It's like, you have to be a little riskier about when you're gonna like, block and do stuff with him. Mm hmm. Cause like you can bait him actually. Like here's, oh, I thought he was gonna do the double. Like this is the double flip. I can bait that, that's not a problem. I should actually, I should probably hit heavy and heavy, not, yeah, there's a four hit combo. His four hit combo is the weirdest part of it. Cause it, it just doesn't look quite like anything else, you know? Yeah, it's, it's really weird too. You're right, because it's uh, the staggering on it is, it's like, okay, two hits, pause, two hits again. Yeah. It's a really weird timing on it. The other thing is his regular sword. It's like you're not focused on his regular sword because it's such a small attack, kind of. Compared to his gigantic centipede arm, yeah. Yeah. It's like very, it's kind of hard to know how to focus on him. <laughs> Here's the, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to bait him into the flip attack. Yeah, there we are. All right, so sometimes that's a swipe too. 
Throw. Just swipe. Regular swipe. I don't really want that one. That one. Thank you. Oh, I got hit on that too. Alright, I'll take advantage of the grab. To <gasps> the elixir, William. I feel like I'm. Ew. They hold fish gutting knives and wood pails. Well, I guess that, that kind of explains oh. the game. Alright, I also feel like I cannot punish the regular swipe because it's just too small. Mm -hmm. A window. Like that one, he's just like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna punish you right back. Don't even worry about it. You learned to parry, though, didn't you? Um, Maybe? Like I think you did with uh with the Odachi in mid stands. I think you learned to parry. That uh, that might actually work on like his, because usually when he does like just single katana swings, those are, he's only swinging once, and he seems pretty predictable with them. All right, let's try that. I think it was more like wind guarding. You press uh one of the buttons. Was, yeah, I'll one. You might also need to set it. Might also need to what? Set you it, might need yeah. to set it as well. Yeah. Nah, it's L it's uh, L one square. Yeah. Because like when he's crawling towards you, that's actually a ton of time for prep uh, to prep and like go into it. I feel like. Ah. The problem is I don't parry a lot in this game, so that was. Mm hmm. This yeah, that is telling me to try like try and learn an entire new mechanic. <laughs> so maybe that was that too. Here's the, but, but I feel like I'm getting him. It just uh, matter... Shigazani was a cousin of Dr. Masamune. He was known primarily for his skill in combat, which, yeah, given the game's accurate on that, because his fucker is, is hard. Let's try one All right. Quick. Flip. That's okay. Sometimes a three hit. I need to watch that. That's okay. That's a timing. Swipe, punish. Watch out for that. Swipe, two, four, punish. Run out. Flip, swipe, punish. One, two, three, four, punish. This is gonna suck on form two and I have to learn all new shit. Punish, big I should know, but oh yeah, that, okay, okay. I got lucky there. Oof. Swipe. You've uh, got a, well, a ways to go too. Wow, he, that's, that's no more living weapon for me. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, and he has a living weapon of his, he has a buff now? What the? Okay, what? he has a guardian spirit that is also a centipede. What did it, what did it home in on me? I do believe it did, yes. I don't, hmm. I, I'm kind of impressed that this guy not only starts out as hard as he is, but once you get him about like two thirds of the way down, he then switches over to doing more, well, you know, two thirds of the way, uh, two being done. And so, fucking, you know what I mean, one third I of the way. I know what you mean. Done. That's what I meant. Yep. He gets new moves and his skip becomes harder. This is going to be uh, three, three forms total, right? And I. Probably, although I'm imagining that the third form is just going to be he uses a living weapon more often, like when Sakonjima does it. Mm -hmm. Jeez. I think maybe your level just might not be up this enough for this. It's weird because. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should. I should probably level up. That and also, your your stat spread is kind of completely all over the place. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Um, yeah. I think by the time you get to the DLC, they're going to ask you to actually specialize and yeah. start wondering about that stuff. Yeah, I can't use the book, unfortunately, uh, during a mission. Um, 100... 
we should check the DLC gear you've gotten as much should be good. That's fair. All right, let's see here. I come up, come away, which I'm using. I don't have a better sword than that, or er, Odachi. Or yeah, I've got my best weapons on. Oh what? Huh? Ah, you piece of shit. Why can't I use the shrine? Oh, maybe there's something. Like that. Yeah, my hat is. I had this whole move set down. Uh. Armor. I, I have like, I have better arm guards I could be using, although they'll make me heavy. Oh wait, fanatics, oh, fanatics armor. Yeah. All right. All right. I should probably get caught. I'm just uh, what do you call it? All right. Let's uh, I'm gonna call it for now though. We'll come back to this. Maybe I'll grind off camera and get like some good levels going or something. All right. Sounds good. Thanks everybody. Take it easy. Yep, see ya.